We've been reporting on the Iraqi genocide and deterioration of Christian communities. Today, we headed to the Pentagon to question top brass about its plans for peacekeeping in the region. Mark Irons reports. Lauren, as you know from your recent trip to Iraq, the Archdiocese of Erbil says more than 100,000 Christians have fled in the last two years. ISIS has persecuted and killed Middle East Christians while destroying their communities and churches. At the Pentagon today, Army General Joseph Martin briefed the press on the fight against ISIS via live feed from Baghdad. I asked the general what the U.S. will do to help those persecuted Christians rebuild in Iraq. We're here as 23 nations to advise and enable and assist the Iraqi security forces to defeat Daesh, and uh, that's what we're going to continue to do. It's clear from that response that the focus is not on rehabilitating Christians in areas where ISIS has been defeated, but defeating ISIS attacks now concentrated in West Mosul in Iraq. The general did say it's in the U.S. interest to continue to back Iraqi forces there. We understand that a safer Iraq, a more stable Iraq, means a more stable region, and a more stable region means we're safer back home. As the fighting continues, Christians are among the hundreds of thousands who are either displaced or trapped in Mosul. And even if ISIS is defeated, many worry that Christians will not return to that area. Lauren. Thanks, Mark Irons, reporting.